Hola, day nine. Was it yesterday, day nine? Oh no, it's day Ocho, remember? Ocho. Ocho. Nueve. Yeah, so today we have a little bit of a different day. We're wearing our packs, but they're not full as you can see. As you can clearly see, because I'm sure you've all been paying attention <laughs> to the volume of our packs. Uh, so what we're doing today is we're actually spending two nights at our hotel here in Merida. And uh, we're walking our 40K day today to, you figured out how to pronounce it. How is it? El Cuescar. El Cuescar. Uh, without full packs, and we're going to catch a cab and come back here. And then tomorrow morning, we'll catch a cab and go back to where we finished today. So, uh, because there aren't uh, any decent accommodations there. So, but this is kind of interesting. So, if you're, if you're interested in doing the Camino, one of the Caminos, there's many, as I said before. If you're interested in doing them and you're on a budget, uh, it's actually really affordable because you can stay in these uh, places called albergues. And what they are is they're like uh, a hostel. It's, hostel. A hostel it's a hostel with bunks and they're really inexpensive. They usually include dinner and breakfast. Um, you're in a big room with everybody else and it's, it's quite reasonable. That's the way most people do the Camino. Uh, and it's fairly inexpensive. Lots Sometimes of university kids do it. You can stay for 20 euro, no, 10 euros a night, and then your food would be another 10, so maybe 20 euros. Yep. Food and accommodation. Food and, per day. Which is like... Pretty cheap. Not bad. Yeah, not not bad. bad, yeah. So, but we're not taking that particular we're tour not package. We're not so young anymore. So, <laughs> so we... Yeah. Like our comfort. We need privacy and a bed and lights out, no noise, and air conditioning when possible. <laughs> Other than that, we're easy to please. 753 kilometers left to go, yay! This is, the, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site actually, and it is the uh, ancient aqueduct bridge built by the Romans in uh, 100 AD to supply the uh, the city of Emerita, which used to be Merida, the Roman, which was a Roman colony with their water. So this is the the dam. The ancient Roman dam that supplied water to the aqueducts that I showed you in the previous footage that um, served the city of Melita. So cool is this. Um, aqueduct that runs perfectly flat all the way along here for miles and miles and miles. Beautiful today. Much nicer, nice. right? Much nicer. Here. Ready? <laughs> okay, don't look at the camera. Oh. Just acting natural. Acting natural, yeah. And then I'm going to pull out my corn nuts. <laughs> 